Hello, and welcome to the first ever episode of Love Bro Chit Chat. I'm your host, Jam. And if this is our first ever episode, and we here debate anything from very serious to outright silly. Today's episode is cereal is soup or is salad. In the culinary world, it could be either. So, let's cut to the chit chat. Right, I'm Joe, and I'm ready to present the most super argument as to why cereal is a soup. Hello, I'm Christiana, and I will be making the argument that cereal is you both have a few minutes to quickly write down any notes you want. Google whatever you want. You have to prove everyone why it's a salad or a soup. So, for that to do, um, we give an introduction and then we go to the defense and the attack. After that, we're closing it with a little statement. So let's go! And that's time. Do you have your notes? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm perfectly ready. Time yeah. to debate. Who wants to go first? Yeah, I'll take it first. Take it first. Uh, well, um, so a soup. Uh, cereal doesn't quite fit the dictionary definition. But first of all, we have to remember that these dictionaries are the same dictionaries that gave us the word word of the year last year as goblin mode. Which, for one thing, is two words. And for another thing, isn't a proper word. So completely discard whatever the dictionary says. And we look at the facts. A soup is a bowl of liquid, sometimes with more components in it, such as meats or vegetables or even fruit. And this can be made with cream, it can be made with just water, tomatoes, what have you. And now you look at cereal, it's the same thing. It's liquid with stuff in. It can be fruit, it can be vegetables if you're feeling really weird and quirky, or it could just be like granola, or it can be flakes, or bran flakes, oat flakes, whatever. It doesn't matter. You have endless array of possibilities, hot or cold, all of that, and that's what a soup is. So there is basically no difference. Thank you for hearing my argument. Okay. Um, so the salad is a cold dish, and it's mainly made of raw vegetables or and there is a dressing to it. So I would argue that in a cereal the dressing is the milk because there's a lot of dressing made of lactose based ingredients. You would, you would agree with me like you can add cheese to salad for example. Um, also the um, cereal is plant-based because there's grains like corn, wheat, so you have to, um, by definition, cereal is a plant of grass family, so it's edible grain. Um, but soup is based on meat or vegetables, so it's not a raw product. You have to boil it in order to make it. And cereal doesn't involve cooking. You don't have to cook it, you just have to pour the milk in the bowl and that, that's about it. So. Well, you made a very interesting point there, yeah. of it has to have meat or vegetables in. Yeah. I've had plenty of soups in my time that have neither in. What did you have? I've had ice cream, melted ice cream. In your soup? No one here has disputed melted ice cream is a soup. And that does not have any of that in. It is just pure liquid sugar goodness and that's what the cereal is as well so we have a few minutes right now yeah you get to attack whatever they said in the introduction yeah, yeah. Uh, and you get to have three chances to uh, defend yourself in their thing with rebuttals make it as uh, uh, natural as you can and have a fun time yeah. i can go i can go have a rattle there uh having to cook it 
There are so many cereals, or like cereal type products that you have to cook. Personally, I've been having instant oats every morning. I, I can't whip that together in two seconds, it's sort of annoying. It takes two whole minutes, I've got to cook it. Put Whack it in the bowl, whack in the milk, then put it in the microwave. That takes time and effort, and, and you have to cook it. And then you put ingredients on top of it, as you do with a soup. You cook it, and then you put the ingredients in. That is exactly how a soup works, not how a salad works, personally. And the plant-based point as well, that, that doesn't necessarily make it salad because not all salads um, are fully plant-based. Like, there are meats in them as well. Like, it is a combination yeah. of meats and vegetables, just like soups are. And there's not really much delineation in that point between the two. Uh, and yeah, have you got anything to say about uh, why? Yeah, but there are salads <laughs> for... Um, there's fl fruit salads, so you can yeah. have fruits. Just like in a cereal, you can have dried fruits, for example. So. Do, do the same as soups. You can make a fruit soup, no one's stopping you. Yeah. No one's done it before, no one's stopping you though. Know? You know, so... get, get some hot water, put some apples in it, suddenly it's an apple soup. Yeah. <laughs> I have uh, objections. So first you say that you put your cereal in the microwave. <laughs> that? that's, that's how you make porridge. That's how you make porridge. Okay, okay, okay. Or you can heat up your milk in the microwave and then okay. it makes any cereal a warm meal because the milk is warm. Okay, but do you think that people do that on a daily basis? Like, yes. Isn't the whole point of cereal <laughs> to be cold? No. Why? No. Because porridge is the main type of cereal that you'd have warm. You, they sell it in sachets, daily sachets, so people can have it daily. It's, a, it's quite a normal thing to do. Or um, younger children will sometimes have warm milk as well. Uh, to like, and some people, maniacs, might use the warm milk to make their cereal go soft quicker. And I'm not, I, I don't want to judge those people, but like, they're helping my argument. So I'm, I'm sort of, you know, starting to like them a bit more now, respect them a bit more. <laughs> um. I think that the whole point of cereal is to be easy to do and not involve any cooking process and heating. So is that by definition though? Does cereal always need to be, or is it sometimes? Um, well, it depends on preferences, obviously. But I think the original cereal is not supposed to be heated. The original cereal, <laughs> the yeah. first ever man-made cereal. <laughs> Please let me into this history. Originally, it's not supposed to. Be. Ask oh. every student. <laughs> every student will tell you that. The, what the original cereal is? Every is a salad. Every student who eats cereal for breakfast will tell you that. What that it needs to be cold. Yes. Factually incorrect. <laughs> Factually incorrect. I cannot believe this. You go to any dining hall on campus, yeah, all of them to. serve porridge. All yeah. of them serve porridge. You know what temperature the porridge is? It is warm. Who eats porridge nowadays? <laughs> old, old people and people in university now. <laughs> exactly. But what so it's the popularity of it doesn't define what it is. Okay. A movie isn't a movie because it's big. A movie is a movie because of what it is. What ex um, other argument about it? My other argument. Well, <laughs> there's nothing there. My argument. <laughs> if the cameras can see this, <laughs> I've I've drawn a picture of a nice creamy soup with pasta, right? And then I've drawn a picture of porridge with some fruit in. Do you see the difference between the two pictures? Nothing. No difference at all. The conclusion and is that you can like pick. And on top of that, that soup has pasta in it. But it's still called really? a soup. It's not called a pasta dish. It's still a soup dish. Mm -hmm. The ingredients don't change what the overall thing is. These things are exactly the same from my professional drawings. And that's it. Thank you for uh, giving your statements. Lovely drawings, lovely discussions. But now it's time to find out if this is a soup or a salad. So, you have a few statements you can give to close it off and convince the uh, beautiful audience what they want to go with. And, let's go! So, a salad is a cold dish of raw vegetables, just like cereal is a cold dish of uh, grains. Um, also, you can... Um, milk. Milk can be sort of like a dressing to, to the cereal. Just like a dressing, there is a dressing to a salad. Um, you don't need cooking, 
you don't need bo boiling. And some people eat their cereal without milk, so, and you can't eat soup without liquid. All right, okay, that's, I mean, my argument here is, I need to say one thing. You see the cereal box here? What is that little white stuff in the cereal box? That is right, it is milk. Cereal needs its milk. Without its liquid, it is nothing. It cannot breathe without the warm caress of milk next to it. And that is why cereal will forever and always be a soup. Thank you so much for participating. Thank it's time you. for you all to vote on who do you think won. Is it a soup or is it a salad? <laughs> and until next time, let's cut to the chit chat.